Nari Horticulture Research Center. Nari Horticulture Research Center. Research. Nari Horticulture. Horticulture. Research Center. Yeah. Okay. It's about here again with another video. I'm at Nari Horticulture Research Center, and I'm with the main man behind this. Horticultural research activities, and they are doing a lot of research activities here. He is going to take you through and then tell you what they are doing here, and then why we need to come and see what they are doing here. And they are really, really doing very, very great. Okay, so I will invite him to uh, introduce himself and then tell us what they are doing here, so that all of you, the viewers, will see the amazing job that they are doing right here in the research center. Okay. Thank you so much, Abaji. Greetings and hello to all the viewers of Nice Gambia. You are welcome to the National Agricultural Research Institute uh, Horticultural Center, which is just located at uh, Yundum, basically just uh, two kilometers from the uh, main airport. Yes, uh, you can have the center. Like uh, Baji rightly said, you know, we are doing a lot of horticultural research around, uh, ranging from vegetables, you know, roots and tubers, you know, and, and different, different, different farming practices which have been done in this center. Uh, this center is basically uh, the national center for research in horticulture, which you know is a branch, which you know is under the crop research directorate of the National Agricultural Research Institute in South Nari. As you can see, we are doing researches on tomatoes, on onions, on cassava, on sweet potatoes. And you know, a, a new, the new paradigm shift of research, which is nutrition sensitive agriculture. Because around here, we are having the orange flesh sweet potato, which you know is rich in vitamin A, and you know, it, it is good for lactating mothers and you know, uh, babies under five, and you know, a lot of things. It has a lot of good benefits, and also the cassava, also mm -hmm. with a lot of activities. We are having, we are managing and doing a tree nursery propagation around here, which you know, it is good. We see the good varieties around town and then bring them here to multiply them and also if customers want it around they can they can they can see it. Basically this is what is done in the horticultural research center. We are also trying to introduce in highly valuable crops. The, the, the highly valuable crops that's the uh, avocado pear you know which you know it is uh, the leading in the world market we are dealing with uh, uh, cocoa which is the the the, the highest, highest cash crop in ivy Coast and ghana because basically we were thinking that these things these particular crops can only do well around that area but actually what we are seeing in the research center is this can be grown in the gambia and if it is grown in the Gambia, it can be processed simply. And also, this is something that you know, it will really give us a thing. Yes, uh, like you can see around, we are having good improved cassava varieties here. Yes, yes. And like all of us, we know, if we want food and nutrition security, <coughs> we have to, you know, diversify livelihood. Because cassava, the Gambian staple food is right, is rice, that is correct. But if you go to Nigeria, which you know it has a higher population and a more population, mm. the staple food is cassava. And you can uh, d uh, drive different recipes from cassava. You can, you have gari from the cassava, you can make fufu from the cassava, you can make flour, Very you know. But the Gambia, what we know for cassava is just to boil and eat and uh, ebe and ebe, so. Yep. <laughs> so you see, so, but you know, cassava is, it can be developed into many things yeah. and many good things. So all these things are factors that that you know the horticultural research center is doing yeah but you know with all this we have partners like uh, FAO which you know they are supporting us on, uh, on, on, on on giving out the nutrition sensitive you know you know the nutrition sensitive agriculture like we said uh, we having uh, the, 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 uh, the we having uh, the Uni United Purpose, which is an international NGO, they are also supporting us. So all these things are things that are happening around here. But a lot of people might just think it's just a center that you know is normal agricultural production being done. No. Here, here, we are, you know, we are trying to bring in new varieties, adapt them in the country, and then scale them out. 
in the country. But the constraints we are having, like we, uh, the irrigation facilities are really poor. We are not having that much financial support to bring in other new varieties. Because all the varieties that we are seeing around here, we are getting them from partners, like from Hungary, from Turkey. You know, we are having good varieties that you know they have high processing qualities which you know if we have them in the country here investors can come in to invest and then we have our farmers upscaling their production and then eventually upscaling their earning exactly. if this center moves the agricultural system moves yeah. so basically the center needs a lot of support to 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 see that these things are being outscaled to the farmers yeah okay all right so um I've never seen uh, uh, a cassava this big. So how long will it take you to farm something like this? This is just eight to ten months. Eight months? Yeah. And the normal cassava that we have at home is over a year normally. If you want to get a good harvest with the local varieties, mm -hmm. you need to have like, let's say, 18 months. 18 months? Yes. You need and that to will have, be just like uh, uh, yeah. about this size here, yeah. from here to here. Yes. In fact, it will not be this it, big. It, it is this big. Oh, this yeah. is very, very amazing. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, is it that you did something to make it big or what? Well, actually, we have to till the soil, make the soil fertile, you know, prepare it very well and plant it at the right time. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. plant it at the right time. It's like that is the research you're doing yeah, here. Yeah, that's the research we're doing here. Yes. You bring me the tomatoes. Okay. Tomatoes. Yep. So, you, like you can see, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a tomato variety. Okay. Which, you know, this is, has a lot of apple inside it. And it is it, it is it is open pollinated. What is apple? Uh, like this the pulp, the flesh ah, is very. Ah, okay, hard. okay. The the one that we eat. Eat, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. have a lot of flesh. Yeah, in it. I yes. See. I yeah. See. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one, what is that? This is. Uh, this is the orange flesh sweet potato. Okay. Yeah. Orange this is flesh. sweet potato. Yeah. Orange flesh. Why do you call it orange <coughs> flesh? Inside. Uh -huh. is, is oh, okay, okay, yes. okay. You know, most of the potatoes you see mm -hmm. in the country here, mm -hmm. it is white. White, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rio Grande. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. You see? Uh -huh. Is this the same as what we call hair? No. No. It's no. different from hair. It's different, different from hair. hair. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. So don't have the tomatoes. Yeah. But I can see there are a lot of different, different kind of things have, uh, yes. here. There's like, another variety here. There's another variety. Yeah, okay, can I see that variety? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this is the variety that I am telling you that mm -hmm. uh, we have. It could it could be a processing variety, oh, like for uh, like tomato paste. Yeah, tomato, tomato paste. paste. Oh, you see? Very, can you show, show yeah. it to the viewers? Yeah, you see. It's very red inside. Yeah, very red inside. Wow. Yeah, and and yeah. also very nice. And how do you call it? Very nice. Almila. Almila. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. I think uh, mm -hmm. my colleagues around can tell you a lot about it. I know, I know. Yes. Let me just invite them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, <coughs> so basically, how many type of varieties do we have here? Like when you come to the vegetable, how many different kind of vegetables do you have? We have uh, here. We are growing tomatoes, mm -hmm. uh, sweet peppers, uh, aubergine, uh, onions, lettuce, carrot, different more than ten cucumber, eggplant, different more than more than all the major vegetables in the country. In the National Development Plan, the priority is tomato and onion, mm -hmm. but we are even doing beyond that. Yeah, like yes, it, because we are to advise and give policies to the government as to what they are supposed to do when it comes to agricultural production and productivity. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you have also cassava, yeah. you have sweet potato, yeah, yeah, and you have a lot of fruit trees around. Yeah. yeah. So basically, before crops are being taken <coughs> to the society or any other, they have to be tested exactly. here first. Good. Okay. Here is the starting point. But you know, some people do deviate and go and do their own things. But basically, there, if you have problems, you cannot come back to us. But actually, for us, we are trying to at least bring up, there, though there is not much support, bring up new things and take it to the farmers. Yeah. Like I have seen different type of uh, mulching here method. Mm -hmm. I have seen uh, we are use granite seals. Mm -hmm. I have seen uh, plastic also, mm -hmm. and I have also seen grass. So why is it that why don't you use just one mode of uh, uh, mulching mm -hmm. system? Uh, like we say, we we are doing a research to see which one is better and which one is best, because 
here you can have all those ones but you can go up country you have only grass mm -hmm. or you can be someone who can have only plastic or you can be someone who is so easily you can have uh, groundnut shell you can also use sawdust any other recyclable material you can use it okay. yep and but we are seeing which one is the best mm -hmm. so that if you have all this at your disposal which one are you to select okay. yeah and the one which you know is most efficient mm -hmm. because it, you know production also should be cost yeah. effective, effective yeah. yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when it comes to uh, the watering system mm -hmm. how often are they being Oh, that one also is being tested. You have to test all that, the duration, yeah. the time. At this, at this center around here, we use the hose pipe to do watering. Inside, we are using the drip system. Oh. Yeah, but we are not actually having enough water, as you can see this big center, to do the irrigation every time. Yeah. Sometimes we might sit a whole day if the Navek light goes off, we don't have water at all because we are depending on the bohol. Oh, it's fully depending on uh, the electricity. electricity. Yeah. You yes. don't have anything like solar here? No, we don't have a solar. Oh, and we have around. a lot of sunlight around. Sunlight around, yes. yes. If we have that support, I think it will be very good. Yes. Right, so that we can have our independent source of water. Yeah. Yep. Not controlled by Nike. Not controlled by Nike. Yeah, no. Good. Okay, so the gentleman have something? Yeah. Okay, I just want to add what my boss just, you know, briefly said. You know, we are we are we are doing um, research on different you know crops here like tomato, onion, and other one. Um, but normally, what we did, you know, we have collaborated with uh, outside like Hungarian, you know, Turkey, and other countries. So they sent us some, some you know some of the seeds because we know you know um, because research we are here to solve the farmers' problem. You know, sometimes they will send us um, tomato varieties. So normally when we receive those tomato varieties, you know, we, we need to test them to look at their adaptability to the government condition. Because as you know that, you know, they are from other countries. So when we look at their adaptability, so now we recommend, you know, we based on that, we will recommend that whether this particular varieties can grow in the, in, in the Gambia. And not only their adaptability, we also look at their yield. Because normally, if you if you introduce a variety, you know at least the farmer, what the farmers are more focused is yield and whether they are resistant to pests and disease. Because when they are resistant to pests and disease, that also reduces the production, you know, production cost of the farmers. Because you see, the farmers will not buy, you know, fertilizer and they will not buy other things. And we also look at the, you know, duration of those varieties. Whether those varieties they will be matured more than the one we have here. Because if you are introducing a variety, you know, that, that new variety should have the superior than the old, you know, the old one. So that, the, you know, so that the farmers can accept the new varieties. Yeah. So we are also testing, you know, looking at, the, you know, we also have different varieties of onion. Because what we, you know, in the Gambia, our farmers are growing Amba Galmi and mm -hmm. Texas. So, but those, um, but those varieties, they can last for maybe four months, they are storage. So now we are having a variety here that, that we, we believe that it can store for eight months. Like this so now, no, one. yeah, no, this is tomato. Uh -huh. okay, okay. okay, so this tomato also, you know, is a new one. So when we receive the, this one, because we know the one we have, it can last for maybe uh, one week. Uh -huh. So now we will look at, you know, this, their self life. We will take them and place it at somewhere where the you know in in a room temperature mm -hmm. so we look at it where that you know they can last for more than you know two weeks so mm -hmm. that because we all know that you know the storage is a you know is a big concern for our farmers so when we have a variety that can stay for maybe two uh, two two weeks at least that will be a great close yeah. to the farmers mm -hmm. in fact you know we also have onion here and we also have you know amber um, uh, tomato and this tomato the, you know the beauty of this tomato because they are open pollinated varieties so what I mean that, you know, this variety, you can, you can, after harvest, you can extract it and remove the seeds and store it. And, you know, the next, you know, the next cropping you know, season, you can use the same seed. Oh, because, seed. yes, because we know that, you know, um, uh, seeds is, is very expensive. Sometimes our farmers have to wait for, you know, supply, see, su supply from the NGOs or other, other, other farmers. Or, or sometimes they will go and buy seeds that are expired. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they will just sow the seeds, the seed will not germinate. Mm -hmm. So, but now, you know, we are also observing this variety because they are open pollinated varieties. So when we, you know, because we have, you know, we have already started it. 
So now when we sow the seeds, if the seed germinate and you know the seed is true to type, meaning you know it is it is like the original plant, so that that is a great plus to the farmers. So we are here at least to empower farmers and also to solve the problem of the farmers. So that's what we are doing here. So maybe because of the time, I can leave you with the other ones. You know, you can go. To, we can go to the Grafton side, yeah. so he can also explain. And also, we also have strawberry here. I think we, you know, we don't have the fruit. Yeah. We have the strawberry here because people, the perception that people have, yeah, this could, thing cannot yeah. grow here. It cannot yeah, grow yeah. here. We've but we have it. Several, yeah, several, yeah, several yeah. But years. but we have it in the Gambia, yeah. and we also have cocoa here because yeah. people are saying that this one cannot grow here. So because of as a research, you know, we are here to at least to you know to at least to make the doubt, you know, yeah. clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is what we are doing here. As you can see, you know, we are working with different varieties. Like Tom said, this cassava. Last year alone, we supply more than 200 farmers wow. with the planting material yeah. because we know that the you know the planting material you know the cassava variety the farmers have you know you know it is very low yield. Sometimes if they harvest, they will have very small yeah. you know mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. But now when we you know when farmers harvest this, mm -hmm. if you have this you know a full hectare, <laughs> yeah, yeah, at yeah. least the farmers income will increase. Exactly. And now you know about, about a lot of farmers are having this throughout the country. And the sweet potato also, because you see malnutrition. Everybody is complaining of malnutrition. Mm -hmm. We are saying that you know, um, mortality rate and this and that. So when farmers, you know, when the pregnant women or the young, you know, uh, children under five started consuming this, at least they you know they are, yeah. at least they will not, um, uh, you know, encounter some of those diseases. Okay, like when I was going around, I understand that there are different spacing that you are doing here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, thank you so much. You know, um, as you, you know, as you, you know, the question you ask because different plant have different spacing requirement. So for onion, you know, we use um, about twenty by fifteen, but not, but farmers are using ten by okay. 20 onion. By 15, what, twenty by between yes yeah, centimeters. Okay. Between the row mm -hmm. is twenty. Mm -hmm. So between the onion and onion, mm -hmm. between plants okay. is fifteen centimeters. Like maybe we can go there and demonstrate it. I I can show oh, yeah, you that. Yes. Yes. So like this one, this and this is 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters. 20 cent centimeters. Yes. So here is 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So why we do this? So that at least the competition will be okay. minimized. Yeah. Because yeah. if you see farmers, you know, if you go to some of the farmers field, you will see one space in here, everything will be mixed So up. now, you know, as a research, yeah. we want to at least advise farmers to use, a, you know, the best suitable plant spacing. Because if you use very close spacing, mm -hmm. maybe even you are within, Sometimes yeah. it will at least it, it can be. cause some yeah. of the you know yeah. this you know damages. Yeah. So this is why we are testing this different you know spacing. At the end of the day, we will advise farmers which spacing they will use so that and and which and and the best spacing that at least will you know help provide, provide them with the good yield and also minimize some of the you know cultural practices. Okay. Yeah, and those are and the, the labels, tomato. Yes, and the, the tomato. So yes, them. the label we give them. Mm -hmm. And the tomato also normally we use um, but the recommended spacing. The, you know the spacing we recommended for the farmers, like this one. Between this plant and this plant is seventy centimeter. Seventy. Seventy centi. Seven zero centimeters. Okay. So between plant, this plant and this plant is fifty centimeters. Fifty centimeters. Fifty centimeters. Okay. And the staking also, if you see, we you know we do this so that at least you know this this tomato fruit will not touch the ground. The ground. Okay. So okay. because sometimes if it is half contact with the ground, mm -hmm. that can cause some of the you know contamination or you know investigation also. Okay. So this is why we recommend farmers to use this best spacing for tomato and maybe for lettuce you know we use you know 20 by 15 also for lettuce, huh? for le 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 lettuce. Okay. so you know for pepper and tomato they are all the same family normally we use the different you know the same spacing for them yeah so for cassava also we use one meter by one one meter yeah. by one. for this type of cassava yeah for this type of cassava okay. between this um, row mm -hmm. one one meter mm -hmm. between the um, uh, between the plant mm -hmm. one meter one meter yeah so between different varieties because you know we have different varieties mm -hmm. so between different varieties we leave 1.5 cent meter mm -hmm. because you know so that at least they will not enter you know oh, oh, yes oh, oh, I get it. yeah I so it. that's what we are doing so you have uh some boarding that you're doing here. Yes. Can we also look yes, into I that? will I will invite 
this man because he's the one responsible for, for that. Boarding. Okay. Yes, for boarding and okay. So while Musa is preparing the boarding, can you tell us what we can uh, uh, make with this uh, kind of potato? Because I can see I was eating it behind the scene, yes. and it's very very sweet. Yes, so exactly. can you tell us what? Yeah. more about it like what yeah. do you make make from this yeah thank you so much um but this this uh, this particular potato can be processed into different food you know different recipes mm -hmm. like you can process this into pancake you know okay. in fact if even bahal mm. you can process this Mahal. bread oh. yes bread you know you can process this into bread you can process this into um, uh, porridge you know Okay. You know, different different foods. You know, food stuff. You can pro you know process this very cassava. Uh, this potato yeah. because this potato has vitamin A. Yeah. So we all know that vitamin A has you know very essential ah. you know in our health. Mm -hmm. So this is why you know Nari and you know FAO introduced this because of yeah, because of you know um, the malnutrition level of the country in certain part of the country. So when we you know give this to the farmers. Mm -hmm. So we also train them yeah. how to cultivate this. So after that training, we know that you know many farmers having this. So now what is next? We have to tell them that how to you know how do you consume this in different way, wow. you know. So there we train them you know how to process pancake, how to process bahal, oh, how to process. To do that too. Yeah, we train them wow. you know that Recipe. we train all those you know different recipes, you know. So. It's very important. So your 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 job or your work is not just limited to growing it. You also um, help farmers to know how to Plant use it. that exactly and then because turn that, them into uh, um, like different food different, stuff. different different yeah, yeah that's stuff. that's also part of our role you know. So because you know we the, the the major thing is at least we have to train them how to you know grow this uh -huh. because if you give them new material. You should tell them because after you know when we receive them, we test them. Mm -hmm. We know how many fertilizer. We know you know the duration. We know you know the spacing. So we have to train the farmers. You know the farmers should also use the same trend so that they can have good yield. So that they can have you know at least the very healthy tubers and other things. Yeah. 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 Okay. <coughs> okay. So like <coughs> you know that this place is a research center. So yeah. do you have any lab here? Well, that is our that's that's our major constraint here. We don't have any lab. In fact, you know, if you can have that, that would be a great plus to us. And it's not only lab, even the fence, because you know, you know, you cannot have a good research station without a good fence. To you know, control. the water pressure, the water pressure here is also you know very low. In fact, what we are doing here, you know, we we will do more than this if we have the you know the water pressure we have you know we need. We will do more than this. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. like now mm -hmm. you know that this place is uh is for research center. Exactly. But now when you go to the uh urban areas, exactly. eh, sorry, the, the, the provinces, mm -hmm. exactly. do you have any system like this also there? Because maybe the condition there is not favorable, you understand? Mm -hmm. So if you grow things like uh, things like maybe uh cassava, cassava here, cassava, yes. Maybe that the same cassava will not be favorable with the condition that is there. In fact in fact we, we even did that because we have different you know our our intervention site. So when we test it here we will take them to different location. You know, after when we test them into different locations and, and this cassava and the potato, they can grow any part of the country. Okay. We went as far as uh, Pasamas, the last village of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And this this part you know, this potato and cassava can grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they are adaptable, they can grow any part of the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are high yielding, high resistant, you know. Yeah. Yes. So um what are you doing? Yes, I am I am grafting. Okay. Yes, this is um, uh, this is called grafting. grafting. This practice, you know, we use this to maintain um, uh, our three three species, uh, our three species that you know they cannot be um, uh, propagated by seed. Okay. You know, we have three species here that you cannot propagate them by seed mm -hmm. because if you sow the seed, it will the sweet seed is not true to type. So those kind of um, uh, uh, trees, we maintain them by, by either grafting or boarding. Okay, before, so, you, before you proceed, what is true to type? True to type, for example, uh, um, uh, a, a tree species that you know, if you sow the seed, you'll get the right one. Mm, okay. 
okay, you okay, see. Okay. So if you sow the, the seed of a particular tree, you can you cannot have the, the right one. That means it is not true to type. Okay. So the, the, we have those kind of trees here, and we have even trees that you know they cannot produce seeds. Okay. You cannot find seeds in them. Like we have a seedless lime here. Mm -hmm. We have amber, a, a, an orange here that is called Washington navel. It has no seeds. You see, so those ones you cannot propagate them by seed. Mm -hmm. And also we have mango varieties here that uh, that is called Ket, Kent, mm -hmm. and other yeah, varieties. Yeah, I can see those yeah, ones. Yeah, those ones they are not true to type. If you sow the seed, mm -hmm. it will not be viable. And normally, so the, seeds, the only but way if you look at the seeds, it looks like it's something that is not good. Good, good. Yeah, you yeah. find you you think that there is an infection inside. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that is it. So if you sow those seeds, they are not true to type. They will not produce the real variety that you need. So those ones we have to you know use this method of grafting in order to maintain this piece you know so here we are doing grafting we have different types of amber um, uh, you know citrus here so we the, this this particular rootstock this is you know this is the rootstock these are the ones we we, we raise from the from the nursery in, okay. in the in the polythene bag this one uh, the, the variety is called lemon cover either we use lemon cover or the or the, or, or the kilopatra mandarin so we use those as the rootstocks. If we sow the seeds in the nursery, if they germinate, we culture them until they reach their uh, you know, grafting, uh, grafting age. Mm -hmm. Then we, we, take our, we collect our boardwood. For example, this is the boardwood. This is your, your desired plant. You collect this from whatever, whichever plant you, you, you feel you want, you want the variety. Yeah. You yeah. see? Yeah. So I, this, one, this particular one, I collect it from a, a Washington Naval Orange. Okay. So I'm grafting it with this one. This, this root, root, root stock is called the lemon cover. Yeah. And why so, do you choose lemon cover or the other type, the mandarin? Yeah, okay. You know, you know the, the, this one, it, you either use lemon cover mm -hmm. as a root stock or you use Cleopatra mandarin as, a, as the root stock. Any of those ones, if you use uh, and, and graft the, the, this one, this Washington novel, it will, it will work. Yeah. You'll, you'll have the Washington novel as your oh. desired variety. You understand because um, uh, this lemon, lemon cover and 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 Cleopatra mandarin, they are all the same species. Only um, uh, trees of the same species can be you know boarded or grafted together to produce you know, a, a successful union. Okay. Yes. I get it, I get it, yeah. So this is it. And this you is have what to we test all that before you actually finalize that this works with this one. Yeah, this works with this one. Okay. You know that this this particular you know tree is the same species as this other one you are grafting on, the, on, on it. So you know that already. And also we have um, uh, kola nut, we also graft kola nut here. Kola you have, um, uh, yes, we have taba tree here, taba. Mm -hmm. You know our ordinary taba yes, yes. is the same class, uh, the same uh, species with kola nut. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yes, like, they yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. You, you, you grow the uh, taba seedling as, as the rootstock mm -hmm. and later cut the, the, the the, the branch from the uh, the boardwood from the kola nut tree mm -hmm. and then graft it onto the taba, then you get your kola nut tree. Okay. You see, so we have we are doing all those things here. So this is this is it. As you can see around, there is a lot of mangoes and 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 and, and citrus, you know, uh, seedlings around yeah, that, that are we, awaiting, you know, grafting yeah. and boarding. You mentioned boarding and grafting. What are the differences? Yeah, boarding and grafting are two different things. Yeah, they are all vegetative propagation, uh, but you know grafting, you 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 use the board wood, you use the branch, you yeah. cut the branch of yeah. the of, of of the your desired plant and graft it onto your rootstock. Whilst in boarding, you you take the auxiliary board, only the board. The board. You remove the board mm -hmm. from from the from the plant that you you, you, you from the, your desired plant, and then um, uh, insert. Uh, it, uh, you, you will cut a, 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 an inverted T, inverted T structure on the on the rootstock, and then you insert the board there. Mm -hmm. Then 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 you tie it and leave oh, where the sprouting yeah. come out. Yes, so yes. you leave that 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 portion okay, you know open okay, 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 for okay. for the sprouting to take place uh -huh. easily. Why are you covering it? Yes, I'm covering it with this um, plastic bag, you know, in order to you know this has no, many many advantages, because number one. It will protect the, the boardwood from se serious dehydration mm. and also prote protect it from air, air flows because uh, between the, if, if air happens to enter between the union, mm. if it is not tied properly and this plastic, plastic bag you know, put on, uh, over it, mm. if air in, uh, uh, flow there, 
it will cause the union to fail. Okay. You, but you have to tie it and then put this plastic bag over it uh, to prevent air from flowing. And at the same time, when there is when when water water, for example, in the rainy season or in uh, 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 when they are watering them, uh, to to prevent water from you know getting between the union and causing failure. Okay. If the if the union you know, succeeds, uh -huh. you cut the top part so to 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 you know to completely you know eliminate this one okay yeah because now you are looking for the boardwood mm -hmm. to survive if it's, if it survives mm -hmm. you 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 pre this, prevent this one from surviving uh -huh. because if not it will dominate oh. the, the the boardwood ah, because it is yeah, the yeah, it yeah. is the original plant yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. so this is it we have seen another variety also here which i have never seen before so yeah. can you just give us a clue about it yes uh, basically this is a uh, 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 cabbage which you know we, we, we collected from Turkey and right you can likely see we are testing it here just around uh, the, 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 this, this place is we call a micro garden sort of you know so it is on a trial yes it is it is on a trial yeah. but actually you can see it is very good and nice because this you can consume the leaf and the heads also you can consume it yeah here we are having you know uh, cocoa plant which you know it's a, a very highly valuable crop you know Africa exports a lot of it and you know we are trying to have it uh, domesticated uh, in our uh, in our uh, field here after domesticating it we want to uh, propagate more to multiply it and then give it to interesting people whom you know that they will they will be propagating it it can be on large scale based on the market it can be on small scale based on what you can do and we also have the uh, the latest uh, avocado pear varieties that's the pink carton and the hearts these are the wall leading uh, varieties that you know they are highly highly valuable in the wall market mm -hmm. you know we also have uh, strawberries here that we are trying to at least uh, propagate and domesticate mm. for the you know the as a, as a very low and low scale farming system which you know even the farmers can do it yeah. around their verandas up in their stairs it can be an urban crop yeah, yeah. which you know everybody can grow and when you're sitting around with your family you can be enjoying it yeah. and you can even create business around it so all those things we are doing here uh, basically, all what we are trying to do is trying to improve the production of farmers. So, so. Trying, trying, trying for farmers at least to have a higher productivity. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to see how best we can diversify the production of our farmers. Because you know, in diversification, you can have a lot. You know, at least with this era of climate change, you need to diversify production, being it small scale, being it large scale. Mm -hmm. Being it because you know horticulture also you can be doing it for pleasure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, at your leisure time you are in your garden preparing flowers and doing these things just to have to have your uh, something to engage in mm -hmm. to work and be healthy and be fit mm -hmm. so all those things we are trying to uh, make up mm -hmm. and for the population also to understand we don't only stop at that. People now, they will come around, they say they want to train on to horticultural production mm -hmm. as an intern, and then we will take them through all the horticultural practices. Okay. Some people, they go and establish their own garden. You know, students also at the university and the college will come for internship, you know, to have the practical aspect, aspect yeah. of, 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 of what is done in horticulture. Mm -hmm. Not only learning the theories in class, class, but if you come here also, you will be trained on the practical aspect yeah because most of the people from studies you think you are just to sit down there to make policies to do policies and other stuff mm -hmm. yeah but uh, our we really need support in terms of technical capacities okay. in terms of uh, in terms of technical capacities like here we need to improve on to biotechnology like tissue culture like these cassavas that you are seeing you know, here we only multiply it manually. Uh, growing it when it comes, you cut these cuttings and give to farmers. Mm -hmm. But with tissue culture, with in only a small space, 
you can multiply thousands of cottons and supply to farmers. Farmers will come around in the rainy season and tell us, oh, I need a volume of one hectare which you know is 10,000 cottons. But we uh, cannot provide that at that, at that particular time. But if it was for, we are having a tissue culture technology, we can easily do that. Uh, you know, even if it is going up, though here is not an income generating place, but at least to, 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 to keep the thing running, we can just charge some, some fees on it so that at least when we need the agents, the machines, you know, we repair them and maintenance them. Uh, and then the farmer will get the varieties or the amount that he needs at any time. Uh -huh. So even the sweet potato also. Here when we harvest, we take the cuttings, you know, and then distribute to farmers. But maintaining it, having it in a volume, like if a farmer needs to cultivate a hectare, that is going to be very big, a very big area. But with tissue culture, you can just make it in a small area uh -huh. and then you have something big. So these supports we need so that we can train our personnel on it. When it comes to mechanical, all most of the work we are doing here, we are doing it manual especially the irrigation systems as you can see yeah. we are taking the hose pipe it is looking taking a lot of labor uh, and it is taking a lot of time okay. but if we have the sprinkler system the drip irrigation system all these things are things that you know we can we can the other the times that and the labor that we stress yeah. on it yeah. it we can use it to develop other areas we can use it to help other people we can use it to bring up new ideas and technologies which you know we can train other people to increase their production. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, issue is, you know, we need at least uh, financial support so that we can outscale the activities that we are doing and we can also support other farmers to have a startup. Okay, you yeah, know, yeah. to have a startup. Like if you come here for internship and you need a garden, so we can be, you know, having some finance to go and give you advices be with you, start with you, what you need to do. All these things are things that we need. Oh, yeah. uh, basically, we need these supports to build the capacity of the technical staff, to build the capacity of the institution, and to build the capacity of the farmers. Oh, uh, okay. If we have this support, I think the Gambia is going to see a, a, a rapid shift in the production system of the of of of, of horticulture and basically of agriculture and this rapid shift will always propel into the economic system because looking at it gambia is exporting a lot of onion importing a lot of onion you know you know and there are technologies that you know very simple and easy sustainable very local if you do them you know at least we can really minimize that importation mm -hmm. you know with tomato we can have just few machineries to start up our small scale, you know, uh, processing and other things. You know, we have companies around, but we really need the support to beef up the local farmers. Because when you beef up the local production system, you you are likely to scale up the production, and then you are likely to scale up the economy of the country. Yeah. So basically, to the viewers, anyone who can support. We, uh, we have an open door policy. You can call in or even just make a contact. If you come around, you will meet people whom you know that they can attend to you and they can talk to you. You know, and we are having a very capable director also whom you know that he has an open door policy. Yes, basically, I really, really, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with what you're doing, Nice Gambia. Mm -hmm. And I think this center is a center that can propel the Gambia mm -hmm. very well. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then his number is going to be in the description below in case you want to support or donate any materials that you want to support uh, through them. Mm -hmm. So in this edition of video, this is what we have for you. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and then uh, turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of our videos and then share it to the world. Like Lucky Child always said, say it to the world, friends and family. And Mr. Yes, thank you all. <laughs> thank you, nice Gambier. Okay, you're welcome. You. <laughs> <We> are... <laughs>